Hello everyone, in today's video I will uh, explain for you how to make uh, a ceiling schedule and I'm here specifically to answer one of my subscribers questions uh, Hakan here, I'm sorry for the delay, it's five days ago uh, he's just asking which is uh, which which is the best way to do the ceiling and uh, which way to do best uh, as a ceiling schedules I posted previously two videos uh, to do a uh, ceiling, one of them was, uh, you know, just based on uh, creating uh, a, a, a component in place to create two levels uh, or uh, just to close the gap between the two levels of a different ceiling. And the third, the second method, which is the one that I have here, he's actually posting in this video, is, is just talking about making two separated one high and one low uh, ceiling and in between making a third uh, a third uh, uh, ceiling but I have a very high uh, depth uh, to close the gap between them well for Hakan just to give you the answer I think it's the best way is uh, you know to create you know uh, two ceilings in the different levels and uh, that's the one that's the one that we can have a look this one it's just a normal uh, component ceiling plane and this dude here you know it's just a 600 by 600 and there is you know if I if I allow me to delete that that's you see this this gap okay the best way is to create a new uh, ceiling family that have a very thick uh, depth here or the z-axis the z axis of it is really high uh, better than doing that in a component in place and then place that component as a ceiling uh, uh, category this is easier for us specifically was questioning uh, which one is better for scheduling and I think this one is really really easier for scheduling and in order to do that uh, I'm just gonna go and have a schedule uh, and dash quantities and in it just go ahead and I can show you here in this life example how you know easy it is uh, let me close that by the way that's the ceiling plan in case if you want to have a look uh, that's sorry the floor plan that's the ceiling plan and each one of those have a different level uh, I'm, I'm having a section already so you can see that uh, that's the top one it's a plain one the 600 by 600 and this dude, the one that I show you, you know, that uh, that have very customized thickness. It's a 306. It depends on the calculation between the difference between the levels of those two minus. Well, not actually minus, but considering the thickness of each one of those uh, different uh, ceiling components. So uh, this one that I'm talking about, it's a ceiling family. It's not component in a place. This is the best way just to answer and show you in this section. And now to uh, do the schedule again, uh, you just go ahead and pick here ceiling and uh, go OK. And I'm going to pick now the, the category of ceiling is the sub component on it of it is going to be displayed here. I'm going to have family and type and I really need to see the level where they are. So I'm going to pick uh, levels and probably I need to see the height. That's an important one. The height for uh, this component, the offset height from the level itself. So you know how high it is, uh, the ceiling height. Uh, probably you're going to need the per meter and if you need to add some skirting to it or cornish to it. And the area also, which is the most key one. The, the key really important factor in it is the area actually so I'm gonna go okay and immediately Revit will jump and make uh, the schedule you can expand those and you can see that that's uh, that's the one that uh, that's the one the plane component that's the 600 by 600 and that's the ceiling component that's the custom family that have three or five thick that's the thick one see how easy it is being categorized and give you the per meter of it and uh, it's high, the general height of it, of course, the 52 minus, plus this one, because 52 is the thickness of this guy here. Uh, the area for it and, you know, the perimeter and everything else. So uh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's an important thing. And if you want to 
you know, have an automatic calculation. Lots of people, you know, struggle here and they just go ahead to the property and just go to, uh, you know, open the schedule property, ignore this one. Uh, in it, uh, I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm gonna ignore this one now. I'm gonna just grant total, if you hit OK, you're gonna see now that you have a three category, it's make no sense. Uh, and you start to get angry because you're not what you're expecting that you see the, the height calculation as in sum, and a sum for perimeter and a sum for all that. Uh, it's annoying, I have, I must say. So uh, you can go ahead and in the format, you can go ahead and say how much area you want and then add the calculation, add calculation or total for it. So it's gonna give you the overall calculating for the whole areas. And the same thing if you keep repeating uh, for the perimeters. And the same thing you add for the, uh, that's, that's all I think that makes sense. Uh, combining the heights and the level will make absolutely no sense. You can add the count, maybe, that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, if I hit here and I go insert probably and add a count, maybe that's useful. So now we have a count, yes, the count might make sense. And you go ahead in here and it's gonna tell you how many units you have. So you go counts and make uh, a calculating for it. And you can see that that uh, added in it uh, as the three units you have. If you go back to the project browser and again in the uh, ceiling plan and select the whole building and then you know uh, add uh, another building here and maybe those two things together and then add another two by mirror and now you have four so now you might go uh, into the schedule themselves and again you see now it's getting a little bit confusing and some uh, actually need to uh, divide that into a subcategory now that's the time you go to the uh, add a sorting and just activate the sorting based on what let's say maybe based on uh, family types maybe that's even much 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 more uh, making sense in here and add it as a header and when you go okay you see now the header is the 600 by 600 and it count for you we have four of them as you can see and then the ceiling plan just jump in and we have another four and so the information is just being you know added for each one of them of course you can add and calculate those uh, individually or you can just change the category and depend on whatever for, for me i just add the filter here based on uh, the sorting as you say based on the family type itself uh so that's uh th that's how you do it you can just filter it by level which make no sense because in our case they are all in the same level and that's uh you know a good way to go uh, sorry here the filter the sorting and but that's really a good way to go around that uh itemizing each option if you just get rid of it you can get yourself how many you have uh, per unit itself so and instead of you know counting each one of them you have just four and the overall uh, is found in here and the perimeter here is if I just you know uh, sorry it's in here so if I get rid of that and hit OK you can see now it's individually found but if you hit back you see it you can get the calculation overall calculation of all those types. Maybe this make more sense, you know, that you need to know that they have a 600 by 600, there's four units of it. The overall height for all of them are consistent and they are 2,600. And this dude here, the overall per meter for all of them is that so you can, you know, uh, add a cost column by multiplying the square meter price by let's say $10 so you can get how much by by million or $1,000, $100,000 you get for this type. Uh, of uh, item and you can get the cost automatically even during your design phase anyway so I wish that I answer uh, this question uh, dear uh, uh, Hakan and I wish all of you guys with uh, uh, you have some find finding this video useful uh, please post any comment and any other questions I'm sorry because lots of questions here is jumping and I cannot answer all of them due to the condition 
uh, the overall condition of the health. Uh, and I'm trying my best to answer as much as I can. And uh, thank you very much for watching again and have a good day. Bye bye.